everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm going to go over Disney. Disney is along. <laughs> Hate to tell you that it's a little late, but not really. Anyways, I called an amazing option trade in this and looking back now, I know some people are kicking their butts on the options letter because they didn't do it. And then some people thought it was too late and then some people got out too early and then some people killed it. Anyways, long story short, I called it on this day here, which was the night. So the stock gapped up, rallied. I saw the buying coming in. And again, I read gaps. So I rate the gap. That's how I make the option calls and the day trade calls. Then it gapped up the previous day. So people were up in this here and some people got out. It was up, but it wasn't up a million dollars. And then some people killed it here. Gosh darn it. You know, I don't know why people didn't email me about that. But anyways, a lot of people did keep it. And two students made over 40 grand in this. You know, they had the size. So to see students making that kind of money for my calls is amazing. So people always say, well, how much did you risk? The cost was between 80 cents, 90 cents, give or take. So if you had 10, you could have made over 10 grand. If you had, uh, if you had 40 of them, okay, then you would have made, you know, the 40,000 some dollars. But anyways, with the cost of them, you would have been risking between 3,000 and 4,000 to make the 40 grand. So it was like a thousand percent return investment trade, a great trade. And I don't call trades like this every day, but I do call trades like this. I do. And you got to be in it to win it, so to speak. So a bunch of people were and just an amazing move by Disney here. And as you can see, so it actually gapped up today. Gapped up today. I liked it long today. We watched it in the room, dropped, broke, fell through the low and picked it up again. And now here we are. Went over 132 today. I said I did think 132. And this is just an amazing move by Disney. So again, institutional buying is something that you can't be against or you will lose. Institutional buying makes it easy for you to make money if you go long stocks start having that come in. Now, how do you know where to do that? Many day traders were looking at this on Friday as a short, thinking it was gonna fill the gap. I'm not gonna get into a long lecture tonight, but I will tell you that, that thesis does not work. If you trade like that consistently, you will lose money. Although some gaps reverse, that is not what we play. You're going against institutional money when you do that. It may seem like you could make money different times when things fall, like that gap up like this, where I can show you other examples that do, but those gaps don't set up right or don't rate well per my system. So you have to know which ones are the good ones. I always say it, not everything is created equal. Some gaps are better than others. So you play the good ones. You play the good ones hard. You do the good ones. And in fact, I called other options trades in Friday even that are up today. Some people are ready to get out of this today. Some people hold it on. This is this is a great move. I think if you got out of this today, though, then the second trade that I called in this, the second option, I mean, there were just, there's been so many trades called in Disney, I've almost lost track. But the second one that I called on Friday, if you got out of it today, you made money again. But the big one, the big one in Disney, the one, like I said, that was the Jai Mungo one, that trade is over, even though, I mean, I guess theoretically, some, you could still be in that one from the original date on the 9th, because I had called it after the 26th, but it would have been ridiculous to do that. It would be ridiculous to do that. When you when you see something that's up that much, you got to take the profits. But I will tell you that Disney looks good. We'll see how Netflix reacts tomorrow night, and then we're going to see how Disney reacts to Netflix reacting. So watch it. Watch what happens. Watch your Disney if you're in it, because of Netflix tomorrow night, we'll see what happens. And good luck, everyone. If you're interested in my class, in my Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You will learn how to read institutional buying and selling. Have a great day.